So we're going to talk about meeting coins. We're going to talk about Illuminex. We're going to talk about how to get your rows onto the ecosystem and most importantly, how to trade using it and to grow your rows. As you know, I'm a massive rows investor. I have been a pre-sale investor in Illuminex and I'm very, very hopeful for the future for this DEX to do very well. However, there's a few little barriers to entries that we need to discuss and talk about because it's very early. Sometimes these investments are the best because no one really cares or knows about it or doesn't want to do the hard yarding, making a wallet, bridging it over, most importantly, buying something. And then hopefully, yeah, the rest is history. Let's talk about it. So if you're new to my channel, let me just put this point out there. This is not a promoted post. This is just me talking about the ecosystem. Some people have to talk about stuff. And I thought I'll use my audience to kind of get this out there. Now, Illuminex is a speculative investment at the moment because it is a very much a new asset. The market cap is incorrect on here, so don't worry too much about it. However, it may well be very, very undervalued comparing to the competition, but we need to talk about how to use it. We need a Oasis wallet first. It does not work if you're on Ledger. If you're on Ledger, you need to kind of just make a new wallet. I know, pain in the ass, but... Hopefully in the future, more and more compatibility will come. It'll become easier to kind of bridge your rows into the Ethereum virtual machine via the Sapphire paradigm. And then it'll get a bit better, obviously. This is why I say it's early, right? Now, it will look like that. I cannot show you on my screen. Why can I not show you on my screen? Well, sorry, but my OBS doesn't allow me to see it, which is fine. I quite like that as a security feature. But we're going to go through some images. The second thing that you also need. So firstly, get this. Set up your wallet, get your private keys, all that kind of good stuff. Do it as you should. Fine, simple, easy. Second thing you need is a MetaMask. Most people have a MetaMask, so make sure you got one. Now, when that happens, you obviously have both of your addresses. You need to send your rows to this address. Now, not all of it, just whatever you want to put into the rows um, if you're in virtual machine, which is fine. So if you want to do a lot less, do a lot less. If you've got stuff on your centralized exchange, send over whatever. However, you cannot go from, say, a centralized exchange into, say, a Rose Dex because that just doesn't work. You can go via this wallet, then you hopscotch into Paratime. You get the idea. So, da da da. As I say, get a mess, a matter mask. When you are in this situation where you've got an available balance, you press this little button here, highlighted Paratimes. What it will look like is this. You want to send it to Sapphire. In the destination address, when it pings up, it is essentially your MetaMask amount. And it will look like this. It looks very similar to MetaMask. Don't worry too much. It's not that hard. When it pings over, it will then be in your wallet. Now, you need to add the network for rows on your MetaMask. When you go onto Illuminex, Illuminex is the website there. You can see the address. You can basically swap your network to it and it will automatically add the network for you. Simple as that. When you then have it in, when you click on your um, MetaMask, which you can't see, but I have 3.7552 rows in there and you can see all my tokens. I've got Illuminex in there and stuff like that. It's super, super straightforward. You cannot go wrong. So don't worry too much about it, right? Now, when you're on the system, this is it in, in its full glory, you've probably seen something that looks very similar to it. But very much similar, which is kind of good. You've got different elements here. Now, if you want to buy, say, a Luminex, you click onto it, you put in the amount that you want to put in, and all you need to do in this bottom bit here, which confuses the people everywhere, you need to put in your MetaMask wallet. Right, because you are basically swapping it over to that MetaMask address and it will appear in your token balance. When you press swap, it will come status a swap. It will tell you when it's been swapped, if it's been wrapped, and you can press the add to wallet button, which will add the token as a custom token for you. Then you've got it. So what we have already, we already have some Illumin X. We got 0 0.75, right? If we want to swap that back to rows, we can. That is the fee involved. So if I press swap, it is super straightforward. So what we're going to do, we're going to do that. All we need to do is get our MetaMask address to make sure we are going to send that back into rows. Straightforward. That is the address. It is a burning address. Feel free to have a laugh at what I've got in there. Nothing. Anyways, when you do this, straightforward. Press swap functionality, right? What it'll do 
it will ping up on the right hand side to do the fees and it's going to cost us six cents to do this transaction which is a lot cheaper than what it would on blooming what do you call it the ethereum network just say yun so we'll let that go through it'll do its all thingy what we do for cowy thing and then off it'll go right that's totally fine and then once it's done it will ping up saying confirmed or whatever and then you should have some rows which is quite nice now this is only a very very simple step I've not gone into any of the settings or anything like that just to kind of prove a point because it gets a bit interesting, right? So all we're doing now, we're confirming the contracts and now we've just clicked yes and it will go status of swap. Confirmed. And there we go. You can add this to your wallet, add it to your wallet, whatever. And what it's going to do, it's going to just basically just move it all over. Pretty, pretty straightforward. It cannot go wrong. It's super, super straightforward. So when we go on to here now, what we'll see very, very soon, once it is confirmed, we will see however much in there, well, eight, nine rows, give or take, whatever it may be. So the next step going on to it is a logical fashion is you may want some meme coins. So if you've got some rows in your balance, like what we have here, we may want to buy some shit coins, right? So the first thing that you want to do before you do anything is to confirm the address. First thing that I always do is I go on to Dex Scanner, I go into the Rosie token, which is what we're going to focus on. And when you click onto here, this will link you directly to a Luminex, right? It'll give you the exact contract, right? Which is kind of important here. So when you click on there, what it'll do is it'll open up a new link. This is literally this, the exact same thing. But the one big downside to this, as you can see, it doesn't really do it very well. If you want to search for it, you can if I put in Rosie. So what it actually does is when you click on that link, it'll import it over. And there you go, you got it, right? Super, super straightforward. If I want to put by, say, three rows worth, I can. In terms of the fees, you know, it's fine. It's not going to be too bad. However, in terms of the, the technical side of Illuminous, which is confusing people, you've got a secure and an insecure route, right? Basically. So basically, it will just change the privacy levels. Like you can see this here. If you cl click the drop down, you can change your privacy levels. You can change multiple destinations, wallets, and all kinds of stuff, right? So if we want to basically swap three rows for basically nearly a thousand rosy, we can do it both ways. They will be different liquidity sides for each one, right? There'll be different fees as well. So be mindful of that if you're going through different networks. If you're going through Ethereum network into rows, there may not be enough liquidity. Stuff like that is important here. What we're going to do, we're just going to do it as normal. We're going to buy the three. We're going to go for it. We're going to press a swap function here, right? What? Oops, I've forgotten to put my mother's address in. So we need to go into our, you know, our MetaMask wallet for our, you know, Sapphire. And that is the address. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. And if I press send, off we go. Can't really go wrong, really. Bear with me. I just need to press the fees. Oh, I don't have enough rows. That's, that's really annoying. Bear with me. Because we don't have enough rows, we'll have to just do 2.8. Oh, what a shame. However, it still gives you all the stuff. We, we've that rejected because you need to do a percentage of the percent, which is fine. And now it should come back as, yep, we have enough, which is good. Ah, bees. But yeah, we only got a little bit of a, a play account just to show you how it all works. Now, this is going through. Status a swap. As you can see. Straightforward, boom, boom. And then this bit here. This bit always takes longer because it's kind of going through a different way. Yeah, it's fine. It doesn't take long at all. So what has happened here, we are swapping it and then we'll wait for the output to um, receive on our end. And then basically when we want to see it, we can go onto here. And what we'll see, hopefully, fingers crossed very, very soon, is when it's transferred, a load of Rosie. We can easily add that to our wallet account as well if we so wish to. You just do it. It's simple. So other things to know about Illuminex, very, very straightforward. If you want to participate in some pools, they're all there, right? You can obviously do Rose and Ethereum, stuff like that. It's relatively straightforward to do this. Again, if you go into positions, this is all your active positions. If you want to add liquidity, if you want to add farming positions or also your staking positions, which is super simple. If you go into IX, essentially, yes, you can see where your rewards are. If you have some tokens like we do here, we can go into lock it up for so long and obviously get a percentage return, which is absolutely fine. In terms of other information, if you go to the analytics as well, 
This is all the information on Illumin X, which is super straightforward to use, super interesting to see. And you can see overall, it's starting. It's literally the starting point of this ecosystem and more and more meme coins that will come more and more interest. Yeah, all that kind of stuff will happen and over time it will grow into a beast. There's only a couple of assets on here, right? You can see that here. There's hardly anything on here. More networks are coming, more meme coins coming, more projects are getting launched on here as well. So it'll be very, very interesting to see where it goes. My only downside to all this is obviously the swap side of it. The swap side does take a bit of time due to the bridge using the Ethereum virtual machine. It is not going to be quick due to the privacy side of it. So it's much quicker than normal Ethereum stuff, but it is a little bit slower. So it's not instant. So if you're going from, say, Rose over to, say, Ethereum Tether, it does take a little bit longer, right? But it's super, super straightforward. And also you got the fee. The fee for the bridge here, you can see that it's super straightforward. It's not massively expensive. It's it's okay. But at the end of the line, the bottom line of it, it will take about 20 to 30 minutes easily. So mindful of that. Anyways, if you like this stuff, let me know. More of content around this will be on my Patreon as well. I will be doing other tutorials as it evolves over time. But this is very much early, very, very early. It's very much, you know, much harder to get involved with, but ultimately that could be a massive, massive opportunity if you're looking for some gains.